Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Me and Lorenzo here again to make another video. Today we're gonna to make a video that we should have probably made a long time ago for you bakers. You have to know how to make pastry cream. It's in so many desserts, which I will be mentioning during the video, and we're gonna have them linked in our web description, the links for them. Uh, you have to know it, how to make, and it's simple to make. It's pastry cream, and every baker has to make it. And so it's almost as important as whipped cream. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, I'm making two cups of uh, milk with this. When I, this is what we're gonna make today, we're gonna make a coconut cream pie with it. And, uh, so I'm only going to use two cups of two cups of milk. Normally, if you were making, and uh, what do you call it? I'm going to put this on to a boil right now. Just get it up to a boil. Normally, if you were making for eclairs and cream puffs and St. Joseph's pastries, I usually make a quart then. And uh, we'll get back to that in this minute. Okay, while well, this is going to come up to a boil, we're going to get our next step ready. I have two egg yolks and one whole egg in this bowl. I'm going to add my cornstarch to it. All the uh, amounts will be in the description under the video. You have to mix this in. Okay, this, that wasn't the best way to do the cornstarch. The cornstarch I usually put in the, in the bowl first, but I wanted to show you the ingredients. And then I mix it with a little of this milk and, and get that into a paste, and then put the egg yolks and the eggs into it. It goes better. Just, you know, you don't want any lumps. So I added a little milk and we got it all straightened out now. So now while this is gonna come up to a boil, I'm going to add my sugar and my salt to this. I'm going to get that up to a boil and then I'll get back to you with our next step. Okay, as you can see, this is almost to a boil. We want to get it to a boil. I forgot to tell you before, I took my two egg yolks. This is what I explained to you in another video. I saved in my whites that came from those two egg yolks, put them in the freezer, freeze them up, and you save them for when you're gonna make your angel food cake or the coconut macaroons, you use them again. So don't throw them away. Now the, the next step we have to do with this, it's getting there now to a boil. Be careful when you're on the, with, with milk on the stove that it doesn't go over on you. This here has to be te uh, tempered with the hot milk like all the other recipes we've used this procedure get this up to a little bit of temperature to go in here if you just threw the eggs in there right away you'd have scrambled eggs so you don't want that so you just temper it and once you have this tempered like that Put it back in here. One big swoop. And you start stirring. And when this comes up to a, just to a, a beginning of a boil, that's when you shut this off. I'll show you that in a minute what it does. You see it's starting to thicken up already. Okay, as you can see, it's just starting to come up to a boil. That's great. Just give it a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, really. And keep stirring and take it off the flame. And we're gonna move it over here. This is important making this. Now, normally, if I had made the, the bigger amount, 
I would put this on a sheet pan and let it cool down. You could add chocolate to this too. Melt the chocolate and make it a chocolate pastry pan. But we're not using that today. But I would put this on a sheet pan, let it cool down. Then the next time you use it, you whip it up with a wire whip. And you, uh, I'm putting my butter in it to it now to melt. My vanilla. And then you could use it for your egg clairs, your cream puffs, when after you have it on a sheet pan cooled down, you whip it up again and you bag it out into your egg clairs. You can watch our video about that too. Okay, we got our butter and our vanilla in it. And now I'm gonna put in a quarter, it's about a half a cup of coconut that I toast, unsweetened coconut that I toasted a little bit. And this is becomes a coconut cream pie. We're gonna put that in our pie shells in a minute. Let me mix it up a little better. And that's it. Okay, we have our pre-baked pie, pre pie show that you can look at our other video about that. And you just put this in here now. And this is coconut cream pie. We've made coconut custard pie, that's different. You bake that custard. This is coconut cream. You can make banana cream pie. You can make chocolate cream pie. But all these cream pies are all made with this pastry cream. You can also, instead of making those, you can put fruit on top. Many, so many desserts, it's unbelievable. But this is it. Now, did you let this cool down, put it in the fridge, put our whipped cream on it, and you got a great pie. Okay, thanks for coming and watching. I just want to mention to you, it's very important that you understand pastry cream is one of the biggest items that we're making in the bakery. It's used for so many different things. You can flavor it with coffee, you can flavor it with chocolate, and then they also add whipped cream to it and make Bavarian cream. They use it for so many desserts and layer cakes. They put it in the middle of the layers. It's, you have to make it, and it's so simple. We just showed you how to make it, and you'll have to use it a great deal of time. Thanks for watching. Come back, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.